Now I will invite you all people to join me on an exclusive interview with Ben Pullen, which is the founder of the Global EVRT. And we're going to talk about a bit more of what the Global EVRT is and how you can join next year. Ben Pullen, thank you for receiving us. Ben Pullen, for the founder of the Global EVRT. Yeah, thanks. Great to be with you, Yala Motors. Thank you. So, um, Ben, tell us a bit more of what the Global EVRT movement is. So the Global EVRT movement started with the main objective to raise awareness about electric vehicles. So we started this four years ago. Okay. And uh, back then, you can, as you can imagine, there was no awareness whatsoever for electric vehicles. Sure. Um, so we've built this electric vehicle road trip concept with the mission to accelerate the adoption of electric vehicles. And this is the second edition of the event, right? It's the second edition here in the Middle East. So last year we launched the Emirates EVRT and Yala was involved back then. Yeah. Uh, so it's great to have you on board for the second year running. Our pleasure. And we launched from the Burj Al Arab and uh, with a big bang, you know, it was all about creating excitement. We had press and media there, lots of key decision makers and key stakeholders, um, and then lots of uh, end users and consumers. And let's say the people that get actually involved in this trip uh, is actually what consumers that they own an electric vehicle and then they contact you and they get on board or how, for example, I don't know, I'm assuming the viewers here, they want to know and actually better understand in order to join the next global EVRT that's going to happen next year. We have um, an organized fleet. So Chevrolet have provided a series of their amazing new car, the Chevrolet Bolt EV. Uh, which hits the markets uh, at the end of this year, end of 2018. And Tesla provided some cars. And then we also have owners that bring their own electric vehicles. And that keeps growing every year as the number of owners, EV owners, uh, increases. So for next year, so January 2019, we'd love to have loads of your viewers join with their electric cars, regardless of which brand it is. And what's the actually the impact of this event in the electric automotive market? It's huge. It's huge on so many levels and we're able to create this instant impact and a lasting legacy. So if I just use an example, uh, we were in Oman two days ago. Uh, we spent, well, we spent four days there and we opened six charging points. And at each charging station opening, we had uh, excellencies, uh, government dignitaries, okay. uh, senior decision makers, press and media from everywhere. And we were the talk of the town. And the reason that's good is because suddenly within Overnight, the whole of Oman is now speaking about electric vehicles and the dialogue has started. And over the next few weeks, months, over the next year, you'll see policy created, you'll see uh, manufacturers bringing cars, you'll see consumers demanding this product. So we help to stimulate the market. Uh, we're, not, we're not the only ones doing that. You have amazing things being done from government and industry already. Um, so it's instant impact. The lasting legacy comes from the charging stations that we uh -huh. build. So in partnership with Green Parking, um, we've been building charging stations at IHG hotels, so we're here today at the Intercontinental. Amazing hotel, by the way. Yeah. Whoa. And it's actually new, and everything is new and perfect. Yeah. Right? And I mean, like, we're actually working right now, but it feels like a holiday. <laughs> Absolutely. With yeah, backdrops yeah. like this. Um, so Crown Plaza and Intercontinental, we've been building charging stations, and they will last for the next few decades. And uh, you've used one of your car, we're charging right now. Um, and that's really important because what we're able to do then is to give consumers more confidence, right? Many of your audience might be interested in the Chevrolet Bolt or the Tesla, but for them, they might have questions about charging and range and battery. So what we're helping to do through this event is to um, relieve some of those fears and debunk some of those myths that exist. Uh -huh. In 30 seconds, uh, Ben, how do you see the, let's say, electric automotive market two years down the line in the GCC? It's exciting and it's going to be adopted and that's because the technology is evolving and you know people regardless of um, like their their income and uh, whether they're they're you know environmentalists or, or not people love technology especially here in this region and, and you and me know that and uh, so the technology will override everything the cost will come down and then that will help consumers and businesses to adopt and then you've got lots of government targets to uh, increase the amount of electric vehicles so expect more electric vehicles in 2018 2019 and there'll be many more on the road we 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 look forward uh if someone wants to join uh 
next year in 2019 the global EVRT what do they need to do first thing is go to globalevrt.com and you can see about the events upcoming events here in the Middle East in Europe and in South Africa uh, sign up for a newsletter and and uh, we'll send you information cool thank you very much man thanks great to be with you